Today I'd like to have a quick discussion on access control. So it's very important to understand that access control isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. The client's needs might vary, the types of doors might vary as well. So you'll have to really just ask what the client is looking for in order to give them the best advice and then obviously the best product possible. So at its entry level site is a standard proximity reader itself. One would take an access control card and swipe that and you would be able to enter and exit. This only accesses a door or a boom or something like that. It won't give you the ability to check and see who came in or out, something along those lines. It doesn't offer anything in terms of time and attendance. There are more advanced modules that do that, but a standard proximity reader just to protect a door like say in a warehouse, this will do the trick just fine. Its downfall is the card. I can take this card and steal it and then I can access the door. So if I'm protecting something important, this isn't what you should be looking at. The next level up is obviously some kind of a pin number that you would punch into a door. So it's then a keypad like this. Again, this is just an entry level keypad. It just prevents access into a certain section. There are more advanced ones with network ports, things like that, where you can actually see who logged in, who came through, things like that. That's very important. But a standard one like this, the user would have to punch in a secret pin code and that would open. This, this particular model can take multiple users. But if I know your pin code, I can get in. So again, when trying to store something that's uh, very important or of a high value, this is not really what you want to be using. I can look at when you punch in the number and I can get in and steal the device. You move over to something like a biometric reader. Now something like this is a lot more advanced because these particular models you can either enter your password or you can take a tag and use that. Or if you want it to be really secure, you make it work on fingers only. So when protecting a high valued asset, you would want a biometric reader or a facial recognition terminal so that that earth authorized person is allowed in, no one else. Whereas something like this, as long as I've got your pin, I can get in. Now these types of devices can be used for both access control as well as time and attendance. So they have multiple purposes, whereas something like this is just for access control. All in all, it really depends on what the client wants. Besides the factors about the type and levels of security, there's things like the types of lock that will be used. Striker lock or a mag lock? Or is it going to be connected to a boom? Or is it going to be connected to spikes? So there are a lot of factors to take into consideration. If you need some help determining what's best for your client, get in touch with us. We'll do our best to help you. Have a great day.